Hi there, how y'all doing? So yesterday I was surfing Reddit and stumbled upon this. A question. What are your expectations for Linux in 2026? And for OP it was surpassing 5% user base and that online games will massively start supporting Linux, Snapdragon Linux laptops, and that's an interesting one actually. And finally the Steam machine selling 4 million units, which is possible, considering the fact that Valve achieved more than that previously with the Steam Deck. Really really good and realistic expectations and they would agree with each one of those. Now here is my expectations. My first expectation is that more normal people will end up on Linux by accident let's say. And by that I mean by 2026 even more users will land on Linux without planning to. Windows pushes harder with online accounts, subscriptions, AI stuff nobody asked for and heavier system requirements. Some people just want their computers to feel like a computer again and Linux will become that quiet alternative you install just to try and then keep because simply nothing is yelling at you it won't be mainstream but it will feel less weird to mention that you use linux since everyone is using linux or at least heard of it since just a couple of years earlier before the steam deck was released if you told someone that you're using linux it will almost feel like you're calling yourself a nerd or otherwise a weirdo but it changed already by the end of this year and will get just better by 2026 now my second expectation is that Linux gaming will feel mostly settled and by 2026 Linux gaming isn't exciting anymore and that's a good thing. Most popular games run just fine, developers are more aware of Linux users thanks to the Steam Deck existing for a few years and some anti-sheets issues might still exist but they will feel like exceptions. Gaming on Linux stops being a debate and starts being a choice. No, my choice, by yours. Just this year alone, Linux has achieved a lot on its gaming side. A lot of games got better supports and games that never had supports before now have supports. And by 2026, we might stop relying on Windows to play our favorite online games. You never know. All right, so now moving to my third expectation, which gonna be, I think, and I believe that Linux desktops will get even more polished and consistent. In 2026, desktops will feel smoother and more unified. Settings are clearer, visuals are cleaner, and few things feel half-finished. New desktops like Cosmic and existing ones will feel refined instead of experimental. And Linux will start to feel less like choose your own adventure and more like a stable daily system for regular users or let's say for any kind of users. We would all love to see developers put in more time to do little details so when some new users discovers Linux, he won't have to deal with such little problems and maybe consider Linux bad just because of that. While that might sound silly, but there's actually some people that switch to Linux for less than an hour then start mentioning that it's bad just because they weren't able to figure something out or some random setting didn't work for a split second. Well, in reality, Windows 11 was developed with AI and it's full of bugs. Why you guys can't make a comment on that? Let's be fair, for at least once. Right? Now my fourth expectation is that Linux will get more traction for being the only OS that can save those unsupported machines. In 2026, Linux will continue to give older laptops and PCs a second life. As new operating systems like Windows 11 demand more power, Linux remains flexible and lightweight distrust stays relevant. And finally, more people realize that they don't need new hardware just to browse, work or watch videos. And Linux becomes the don't throw it away just yet option. Let's say. I mean, it's already is, but by 2026, then I can promise you that the amount of laptops that will get thrown just because they are unsupported will decrease, saving it from becoming e waste and on the other side, giving Microsoft the middle finger because who needs the latest and greatest laptop or PC when Linux exists? And let me take that as a chance to say something. If you have an old laptop, please don't throw it. And yes, you might not need it because you bought another one, but someone out there cannot afford an expensive laptop and just wants something that works. Not necessarily with Windows 11, but with anything that can be called an operating system. So if you can, donate your old laptop or PC or give it to a close friend that might be interested in it. Just don't throw it, alright? Okay, now my final expectation is similar to the one on this post, but kind of different. I'm thinking that after the release of the Steam machine, we will see tons of new products entering 
the market to compete with the steam machine itself. By 2026, after Valve puts real weights behind the steam machine idea, I believe that Valve won't stay alone for long. Once companies see that a Linux-based gaming system can actually sell, others will eventually jump in. Different brands start releasing their own versions like small living room PCs, handhelds, compact consoles, all run in Linux and built mainly for gaming. I'm not saying that all of them gonna be good, some gonna be awkward, some weird to even exist, so they're gonna be more like a new cell for a lot of companies. And with that said, Linux gaming hardware will stop being a Valve thing, and it's gonna become more like a category that developers will start paying attention to. Because now there is more than one device and more than one company pushing Linux as a gaming platform. And for users, this is huge. More choice, different price ranges, different designs, but the same idea underneath. Install, sign in, and play. No fights in the system, no weird setup, just trade to your game. And Linux quietly becomes normal in the gaming space. Not because it's replaced Windows, but because it's created its own space, let's put it that way. This is not gonna turn Linux into a console king overnight, but it will do something more important, which is proving that Linux gaming is real, sustainable, and worth trying. And once hardware companies smell that kind of stability, they won't ignore it. Or maybe they will, I have no idea. And those were my five expectations on Linux for 2026. What are yours? Let us know in the comment section so me and anyone reading the comments will share some opinions. Thank you for sticking around till the end and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.